In the previous video on the sweep function, we created our paperclip, as we can see there, and our U part. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a coil or a spring. So I'm going to come up here to sketch. I'm going to lay my sketch down on that top plane again. I'm going to orientate myself. I've changed my units back to inches for this one. So I'm going to create a six inch uh, circle. I'm going to extrude that part six inches as well. So what I have is a cylinder. Now I'm going to come up to my helix tool and you're going to see I have some options here. First thing I need to do is select the uh, cylinder face, which is this outside portion. And what it does is it wraps a helix around it. I can change it from clockwise to counterclockwise, the amount of revolutions or the start angle I'd like it at. I'm just going to change it to five and you can see now it adds five revolutions around ours. So I'm going to hit my green check mark. And what you're going to see is I can now hide my part here. And I still have that helix that's formed. So I'm going to come back to my sketch tool, click on my front face, click on the front of my drawing, grab my circle tool. And at the end point of my uh, helix, that line ends, I'm going to grab that point and I'm going to do a 0.5 or half inch circle. What that does is gives me the face to create this using that sweep tool. So I can close that out next. So I'm going to click on my sweep tool. I'm going to select that face. My sweep path that I want is the actual helix. I'm going to hit my green check mark. And what you've seen now is how I've created a spring or a coil using that sweep function along with the creation of our paper clip and our U-joint. So just a series of tips to, so when you create your own designs and you would like some curvature to it uh, that you're able to create those parts.